Hello beautiful people, hello my green sis of the world. My name is Ana Torres, welcome to Ana Kay's Little Green Book. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching today. Today I actually wanted to keep talking a little bit about plastics, um, but more specifically about plastic bags. When it comes to plastic bags, they actually take number four of items that are contaminating or polluting our oceans. Um, so that's actually going to be a very big number of, of plastic bags that are ending up in our ocean or that are already in the ocean. If we're talking about the U.S., about 100 billion bags are used by Americans um, and only 1% is being recycled. So on a family to family basis, they usually consume about 1,500 bags per year. That means they're only recycling 15 bags during that year. Consequently, these are all ending up in our landfill and about 80% of those bags are going to end up in our oceans. So if we talk a little bit more globally though, um, when it comes to, to the consumption of plastic bags, about 160,000 plastic bags are being used every second. Yes, you heard right, every second. So in a year to year basis, about a, a, like five trillion bags are being used globally. Those are definitely alarming numbers because if we put it into perspective, if we put those bags side by side, they're going to be enough to cover the entire earth seven times. So that's a huge amount of plastic that is being consumed on a year to year basis. This is not through a century. This is not in 10 years. This is on a year to year basis. When it comes to, to the plastic bags, they're actually made mostly of polythene. Um, essentially, when it comes to that, that means that the lifetime of the bag, it's going to be literally polluting throughout the whole time from manufacture to disposal. So when it comes to that manufacture, they're using petroleum, they are um, nat they're using natural gas and other chemicals in order to do the production of these plastic bags, which means again, that this is so toxic to our environment. Um, in fact, it takes about 12 million barrels of oil to produce these bags in the US alone. So that's a huge amount of toxics that are going out, let alone whenever it comes to anyone that's involved in this process, that means they're getting exposed to these chemicals as well. So a bag, it actually takes in between 500 to 700 years to degrade. The bad thing about this is that they actually don't biodegrade. They actually photodegrade which means that they're becoming into minuscule or very small little um, balls of plastic. And that means that both our landfills and our oceans are getting this. So since all of this micro um, microplastics are being found, which I have previously talked about that in the past, they're being eaten by a lot of the species. Actually, 267 different species are being affected affected by plastic pollution as an overall. So when it comes to that, we are eating what we are like literally throwing away. That's all every single type of plastic that we are actually talking about. And plastic bags are no difference. So when it comes to that, about um, a couple of years ago, it was back in 2008. Um, essentially when it comes to to what they found it was a, a whale in California reason of death you were right there were about 22 kilos of plastic in its stomach so that was definitely the the, the reason of why it ended up in the shore and being dead it's actually happening to a lot of those species in our our oceans so um, just so you have an idea, there's not just plastic in our landfills or inside our oceans. There's actually this space. It's called the Great Pacific um, Garbage um, Patch. Essentially, it's a floating landfill and it's the size of Texas by two. 
So a huge amount, obviously Texas is our biggest state here in the US and all of that is filled with trash. So when it comes to this, um, I'm actually going to a conclusion, I promise. Um, essentially what I have been doing is I've tried to do this transition and I know that it's going to be impossible to accomplish every single time you go out. But I sincerely believe that there's a very huge way of, of an amount of ways that you can actually change the world and the mentality uh, on the use of plastic bags. It's really not needed. I believe it was introduced in 1877. Don't quote me on that one though, because I, I didn't do a lot of research on the history. If not, we would have been here for a long time. But I did want to, to talk about this transition of mine, and I think it would be one of the greatest, but there's a lot of other ways that you can actually help. Um, the first one, obviously, try to reuse your bags. I mean, we all have some of these at home. We obviously probably have one of these filled with these. Um, but just make sure to reuse them. Um, a lot of people use them for trash. A lot of our trash needs to actually be bagged. So it's a great way of reusing that. Um, again, not the greatest way of doing it um, because it still ends up in our landfills. It's not biodegrading. It's still becoming um, microplastics. So not the greatest. So what's the second greatest? It's going to be just grab all of your bags and go to a recycling facility. One of my favorite is always Target. I always mention Target because I love Target, obviously. Um, but they actually have a recycling bin. I don't know about right now because with COVID, they haven't been accepting, but just put them back, like put them aside and then just take them all at once. Um, you can just go ahead and call and they'll let you know. If not, again, there's a couple of places that would be um, taking those bags as well. Um, I, something that I always say is be very understanding. Please don't patronize those, those stores that are actually trying to make a difference. There's those that are trying to support that effort and there's a lot of people that are not too happy. They take it as an like more of like an inconvenience, they're trying to do their best. They're not trying to make it inconvenient to you. And I know a lot of local places are actually trying to, to support this. So again, try not to patronize anyone and try to support that. A couple of different ways that you can also help is just spread awareness. Don't don't accept plastic bags. If, if the retail places have those bags, say, you know what, I do not want a bag, I'll just take whatever I can. Um, also make sure to talk about how toxic these bags are actually for our world. I mean, like I said, it takes 500 years to degrade up to 700. Like it's incredible that it takes so long and yet it doesn't fi like fully go away. It's still there in, in the form of microplastic, but it's still there. Maybe you can see it, we're still consuming it. We're still eating it in our, our, our food, especially if it's coming from the ocean. Obviously, the best way is just carry your own reusable bags. It's going to be the best way of just decreasing the amount of bags. Um, it's it, like I said, you're going to be um, spreading awareness by not accepting any of those plastic bags. You're going to be uh, just contributing so much. And I mean, you don't even have to buy one. There's so many that are giving away. I mean, obviously I try to buy from every event I go to because I just want to support them. But there's so many different ways that you can actually do it. This one I, I got in the play of the Lion King. Um, they came here to El Paso. It was amazing. Um, I actually bought this one in kind of like a family store back in, in Seattle. And I mean, I've used it so much that I can't even close it anymore, but I love to carry this one in my bag because it's so little and yet you can carry so much, literally. So again, a great way of, of just having that handy. There's some other ones. I mean, I bought this one at Walmart because I didn't have mine, so I needed to get one, um, but I love it. I mean, it's, it's a great option. I mean, it literally is in a small little pouch you open it and ta-da! 
and it's super big. It actually fits a lot of things. So again, a great way of just having another option. And I mean, there's some that they can even give you at different events. I actually got this from work. Um, I love it. It's just like the same as the other one. It's a little pouch. You just open it. And there you go. You can have all of your grocery shopping in here. So again, just a great way of, of making a transition that could highly work for, for the, the environment. If we keep consuming that many plastic bags, the production is going to continue and there's nothing we can do. And I know a lot of people say that it takes a long time. Remember to be empathetic. Empathetic with yourself specifically, if you forget your bag, I mean, it happens if you want to buy another bag so you don't have to use plastic bags it's fine if you have to use your plastic bag it's fine but what do you compare five bags a year to those 1500 that your family is using so again in my opinion this is one of the easiest transitions one of the best ones again this is such a huge pollutant that it's a, just a great way of just trying to remove those in from our landfills and our oceans, you would be killing so many stones at one point because first manufacturing would stop. So no more toxins into our environment, no more toxins into our bodies because those are definitely ending up in fish and we are eating that fish. And then also we are removing um, all of those things that shouldn't be in our, our, our world essentially. Um, so I hope you find it very very good to to learn about this i know it's a constant conversation but i definitely wanted to bring it up if you do have any questions please reach out to me if not thank you so so much for watching i hope i see you next week and um make sure to change to a reusable bag <laughs> thank you bye